Prisons Minister Vows to Quit of Crackdown on Drugs and Violence Fails Prisons Minister Rory Stewart today vowed to quit in 12 months' time if his crackdown on drugs and violence in Britain's 10 worst jails has not worked. The dramatic pledge came as Mr Stewart set out plans for governors to be given military-style training on how to tackle disruptive behaviour. Millions of pounds will also be spent on body scanners and sniffer dogs to spot hidden packages of drugs. Speaking as the drive was launched, Mr Stewart staked his job on its success. I will quit if I haven't succeeded in 12 months in reducing the level of drugs and violence in those prisons, he told the BBC. I want to make a measurable difference. The pound 10 million pilot scheme follows a report last month which warned that conditions in prisons were the most disturbing ever seen. It is hoped that, if successful, the initiative will be rolled out to all prisons as a model of excellence. Mr Stewart said, with more than 20,000 prison officers, 84,000 prisoners, and over 100 prisons, it is vital we set challenging standards so prisons are places where offenders can turn their lives around. With the right leadership on the ground, and support from the center, these 10 prisons will pave the way for a new approach, a new ethos and a new direction. Last month's report by Peter Clark, the chief inspector of prisons, said jails were rife with violence, drugs, suicide and self-harm, overcrowding and squalor. It also revealed that a shockingly high one in seven inmates became hooked on drugs while behind bars. The minister announced that a further pound 16 million will go into repairing buildings, including improving living conditions and making them cleaner, pound 7 million on safety and security measures and pound 7 million for controversial in-cell telephones designed to discourage the use of illegal mobile phones and avoid fights and cues for the landing phones. The prisons in the pilot scheme, Hull, Humber, Leeds, Lindholm, Moorland, Wheelstone, Nottingham, Ranby, Isis and Wormwood Scrubs, have been deemed the worst in the country. They have all struggled with high drug use, violence and building issues. The project will begin by the end of 2018 and results are expected within a year. A convicted drug dealer who attempted to flood the streets with tens of thousands of pounds worth of drugs was recently gloating about his life behind bars. Almas Maganga was jailed for six years in February after police found more than 34,000 pounds worth of drugs at his home in Hounslow. But the 21-year-old has been documenting his cushy life behind bars on social media, bragging about using games consoles, drugs, and a smuggled iPhone 7. He even posted videos of fellow inmates concealing makeshift weapons in their clothes, 